Sound can levitate one tiny object, but add a second, and they crash together. That failure has a name, acoustic collapse. So why does more levitation suddenly mean more clumping? Here's the simple picture. A strong sound field makes invisible pressure shapes in the air, like a 3D egg carton. A small bead can sit in one of those stable pockets and hover. But when you levitate multiple beads at once, the beads don't just feel the sound, they start affecting each other inside that sound field. And instead of staying neatly separated, they drift inward and snap into a clump. Think of it like this. The sound is the lift, but between the particles, there's an extra pull created by the way the sound interacts around them. That's the collapse problem. And this is the clever fix. They add electrostatics, controlled charging. Give each particle the same type of charge, and now they repel. Same sound setup. Two outcomes. No charge. Collapse. Clump. Charge on. The particles push away from each other, and the sound keeps them hovering. That turns acoustic levitation from a one-object magic trick into something you can use to assemble and reconfigure multiple levitated particles in midair, achieving precise configurations previously impossible. Quick reality check. The headlines make this sound unlimited. It's not. The real limits are in the numbers, how many particles, how far apart, and what voltages they used, as detailed in the study. But the takeaway is clean. Sound gives you lift and trapping. Static electricity gives you spacing control. Together, they beat acoustic collapse. If you love mind-bending science, subscribe to SciBite Insights for more.